Good morning, everyone. 11.30 a.m. January, February, March. Sorry, April 8th, 2024. I'm doing a live stream, a unannounced live stream. Figure, you know what? Let me get a live stream in before the end of the world happens. You know, the big eclipse and all that, right? <laughs> yes, we got that coming up, right? But uh figured I'd jump on it. Might as well join the bandwagon of what everybody's talking about today. Uh let's see, there's 14 people in the house here. What's up, G? Limitless. How you doing? Limitless. I'm doing fine. Uh I'll wait till more people come in here. 32. Like I said, might as well jump on the bandwagon. The Chismas bandwagon. Mitch Bromwell, how are you doing? Thank you for the super sticker. Uh Mitch, I'm still still feeling the pain, buddy. I said, I didn't mean to blow you off or anything, but I was in a world of hurt while you were here. In a world of hurt. Um, but thanks for the super sticker. Atticus, hey dude, how you how's your move coming along? Uh it's coming along um slowly but surely, right? It's just a matter of time. It to me it can't come quick enough. If if the truck was here and everything was loaded. Uh, I'm going to be flying down. I would leave. I, I would be out of here. I'm so kind of ready to be out of here. Um, I, you know, I really have, I haven't put out many videos cause I just, I'm just not in the mood, you know? I mean, what can I do? What else can I do? Where else can I go? Um, but I know I need to put some out. Uh, but yes, I cannot get here long enough. Ah, uh, where are we at? Sorry, guys. Joe McGrath, yes. Jail, jailbird. Uh, we'll get into that. We'll get into it. Uh, Greg, how you doing? Life's too short. Thank you. I hope I'm feeling better. Arturo, how are you doing? How are things down your way? Uh, yes, I did, Mitch. I did get them, and I got the stickers, and those stickers are being plastered all over Angeles City area. Uh <laughs> Put a few of them up on the telephone poles and stuff. Uh, yes, I did. Thank you. Uh, what's going on over there, Philly? Nah, not much. Hot. Ricky USA, how you doing? Hot, guys. It has been hot here in Angeles City. Uh, no school last week. They called off school. And, and I, I understand, but I don't understand the calling off of, of school here. I can understand public schools. All right. No air conditioning. Uh, a lot of your public schools, you've got morning class, especially in big cities. You have morning class like Bing's morning class and then she's done. And then you have afternoon class. So those kids in the afternoon class, they're sitting in the school in the hottest time of the day. You know, they have kids passing out and stuff and all that. So, you know, the local government agency here said, Mayor Pogge said, no school. All right, I understand. But it's even he even applies it to public or private schools. Hannah's in private school. Hannah has air conditioning. Yet, they also are told no school, which I don't understand if they have air conditioning. Why not allow the private schools to make their own decision on whether or not to go to school? So anyways, they haven't had school for the past week. Uh, today, Hannah has a half a day. Bing's not in school. Follow me. Bing's not in school, yet the kids that are in school where she goes that are in the afternoon school are now in the morning school. The next two days are holidays, so now you have holidays coming up. After we just had holidays, um, it's a total crazy mess here, the school system. Um and here's the weird part. Like, look, told me, all right, well, why don't parents just go out and buy like a bunch of fans for in the school? From what we're told, schools are only allowed to have X amount of fans per classroom. So if all the parents went out and said, hey, you know, let me go buy fans for the classroom, the DEP ed only allows them X amount of fans. Probably because the more fans you run, the more the electric is. It's weird. So that's what's been going on, guys. It's just hot. Uh, you know, you wake up in the morning, you go outside, and it's hot. Just 
it's summertime here. So that's what's been going on with school. Uh, like I said, two holidays, ninth and 10th. And it is what it is. What, you know, whatever. <laughs> ah, hey, Brian, all, all in chat. How is the shingles, guys? The shingles, you got to understand something, how shingles works. When you get shingles, you get that rash. You get that big rash on you. Then you get like these blisters on you. Hit get as soon as you get it, notice it. Start taking medication. The medication cleared up that rash within a week. It didn't hurt. It didn't bother me. Nothing. After that, you get nerve damage in the area where the shingles is, and that's what I had: nerve damage. That is what is annoying me, bothering me, hurting me right now. Uh, if, if you guys didn't do too well, the video about uh, going to see the acupuncture person and all that, but uh, it's a process. And after, uh, you know, once I go see her for a few weeks or whatever, I'll determine, hey, is it working? Is it not working? Whatever. Um, but it is what it is. The only thing I could say, and I highly, highly, highly recommend everybody out there that is listening to my voice on Philly in the Philippines live stream today, April 8th, 2024, 1136. I advise everybody, go get that shingle shot. Go get it. They could pay me to be their spokesperson. Uh, but yes, that's how that's going. Thanks for asking. A lot of people do ask and I appreciate everybody's concern. Uh, you had an earthquake. You had an earthquake yesterday. Did you feel an earthquake? No. I didn't feel nothing. Then again, I, there's been times where earthquake, earth, earthquakes roll through here, and I don't feel them. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, it says, SpaceX, Starlink satellites are only going to get better. We now have 5,502 in orbit around the globe in the USA. I am super, super pleased with Starlink. We got it down in the province. Uh, every day we contact them. Every day we talk to them. The internet is there. It's fast. It's moving. We video conference. We talk every day. When I was down there uploading videos, no problem. I am super happy with Starlink. No complaints on my end. None. None whatsoever. Ah, I'm sorry, guys. Let me, I know I'm getting behind. Uh, where are we at here, man? Uh, da, da, another one about earthquake. Hi, Brian. We had an earthquake yesterday in New York City. Did you feel the earthquake vibrating? Uh, no. Uh, what's it say? Wife and I both got our series done two years ago at, at the be at the best of our doctor, at the behest of our doctor. Yeah, guys, don't blow it off. Matter of fact, I talked to a gentleman this morning, expat, while I was up on Clark Banking, and he pulled up and, uh, hey, Philly, how you doing? I, good, good. And we were talking, and uh, he had said, Last year, I think the VA contacted him while he was over here, sent him an email or something about the shingles. And he's like, nah, you know, I don't know what this is, that, 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 sort of like me. And he goes, after watching you and hearing what you went through, he said, I'm going to get it. And this guy was all tatted up. So he knows what it's like the day after you get tattooed and how your skin feels. And I said, that's exactly what it is. That's how it feels. After a tattoo the next day, your skin is so sensitive. The shirt touches it. It hurts it. And uh, so he's going to be going to get it. Yes. Easy on the prison tats. Yes. Yes. Baklock. Baklock. Bakla 73. Well, we know that it's like a created name. Like this guy created this name, Baklock. Because Baklock is the name of the gays or what they call the gays here in the Philippines. So we get guys like this. They just create a name, Backlog, Backlog 37. So 0 through 36 was probably already taken. Now he's taken number 37. All right, Backlog. <laughs> Is he on the prison tattoos, wearing sunglasses? <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, 
let's get into this. This American fugitive arrested. I was the original Bakla. Uh, American fugitive arrested, all right, in the Philippines. Let me let me do a share. Let me bring this up. A share screen. All right, where is it at? This way you guys can, can see it also. Share. All right, so there it is. All right, this is it right here. All right, let me bring it up here. An American fugitive arrested by BI for fraud. All right, I'm going to read it. This is the story. Let me, let's, yeah, let's blow the whole screen up so you guys can see it. So there it is. This is the news. This is what all the vloggers are talking about. All the live streams. Uh, this guy here, American Fugitive. All right. This was published April 7th, 2024, 1425. In other words, 225 p.m. the other day. Yeah, yesterday. The Bureau of Immigration, BI, reported the arrest of an American national wanted in the United States for fraud. The arresting officers identified the American fugitive as Paul David Cardwell, 57, who attempted to extend his temporary visa, a visitor's visa, using the BI online service on 27th of March. Now, David, Paul David Cardwell, you guys might know him from a YouTube channel here called World Zoom. World Zoom. Down around what Dumaguete area, uh, got called out on some of his lies that he was saying and talking about. Um, that's who that is. That's who Paul Cardwell is. He is World Zoom. So let's keep going on. BI Tourist Visa sec uh, Section Chief Raymond Ramingos Ramingio said that Cardwell records prompted secondary checks after being informed by the system that the subject is a convicted U.S. felon. So evidently, if you're a convicted U.S. felon <clears throat> and you're applying for extensions on your visa, he was applying for a, what, a, 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 a visitor's visa, uh, an extension. Evidently, it's now getting, you're coming up in the system. Or know what they're saying. Uh, he's a reported. He's a reportedly a fugitive wanted for defrauding around eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars U.S. dollars of more than forty-eight million pesos from a hospital in Wyoming, USA. After uh, initiating a man, uh, operators from the BI and Intelligence Division located him in CBO on April third while looking into the. Uh, Application procedure for a permanent for a permanent resident for a permanent resident permit for a permanent resident permit. So evidently, he was trying for a permanent resident permit prior, and what he listed an address. You can see they they initiated each initiated a manhunt. You guys see that a manhunt? Wow, that's crazy that they uh it was it's that bad that they. Wanted a manhunt. Wow. Unbelievable. Anyways, let's go on here. Let's go on. What does it say? Hardwell was sentenced to more than 10 years in prison uh, for his said case, which had previously made headlines. So this is where I don't understand it. If he did his time for that and he cleared that all up back in America, why is it still coming up as he's a wanted fugitive? If I'm reading this correctly, all right, they're saying it came up as a wanted fugitive when he applied for an extension, all right? But here they're saying he was sentenced to more than 10 years in prison for the said case, which has previously made headlines. So unless you settle your case back in America, they're not just going to let you out of jail. Okay, well, Caldwell, eh, if you spend enough time here, we're just going to let you. You have to settle something, right? They're just not going to let you out. So I, I, who knows what's going on? Uh, during the hearing, he was quoted as saying, I'm a thief, I'm arrogant, and I was prideful. All right. According to the public records, he was arrested once again in Bangkok 
for evading his fraud case. So if he was arrested in Bangkok for evading the fraud case, why wasn't he brought back to America and detained? Unless he was brought back to, I don't have all this. I don't have the whole court documents in front of me. Was he brought back to America? Uh, did he pay a, a restitution uh, to maybe settle his case down the road? In other words, a bail, all right, your bail set at X amount. You got to show up at court when the court date set. Now you're out. All right. But didn't they pull his visa? Evidently, they didn't pull his visa because he had a visa to get back to it in the Philippines. Who knows the whole entire case? All right. We can only read and only see what is done on the Daily Tribune. Um, it's a BI commissioner, uh, Norman Tansin, I don't know how to say that, uh, hailed the arrests, saying that in it, that illegal aliens cannot evade the long arm of the law. After his arrest, Cardwell will remain in the BI warden's chief of boot, chief of camp Bagog, Dawa, Kigog City before he's being deported to the USA. So he's being deported. He's being sent back, right? Being sent back to America, according to what they're saying. Uh, we don't know the whole case, you know. Can only see and read what we see on the news, all right? But that's the big thing. Everybody's all over that. All the YouTubers, yeah, this guy, he did this, he did that. But there was issues with him in the past, uh, being caught uh, in lies. Uh, who knows? Uh, it's between him and whatever's going on. Uh, it's crazy, though. You know, they're, they're you people. Vloggers fool people, all right? Guys like that, great talker, great talker. Had everybody fooled thinking he was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Yes, old dog talked about it, right? But people still followed him. Oh, I don't believe that. People, here, the great thing, people are jealous. They're jealous. This guy was a, this guy's evidently a bad egg. Did he... I always say, though, if you do your time, you know, you commit the crime, you do your time. You settle everything, good. Everybody deserves a second chance. You can move on. There's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, who knows? The dude lied to me, told me I was a bad apple. Liars. Bock lock. I don't know what to do with you. I, I don't know what to do with you. I don't know to put you on hold, let you sit in here and continue to be silly. You know, you're 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 probably a hater of mine or a troll of mine that has been kicked out of my room because you're just a D I C K, and now you've recreated yourself a new name, and you're in here now being a silly Billy. Um. <laughs> anyways, there are there are people here. There, here's another one I've seen. I I. I don't have it. <laughs> Here's another one. I don't have it. It's on my phone. About a month ago, one popped up. They deported and blacklisted a guy who's wanted back in his state for child support. Oh, yeah. You have people that think they could run to the Philippines to avoid child support. The dirtbag, scumbag, foreigner who doesn't want to pay child support. I can speak and I can call them dirtbags, scumbags, and pieces of shit. Because guess what? I paid it for years. Never late. I paid it. And if I can pay it, you can pay it. But they want to run to the Philippines to get out of a responsibility. Well, guess what? Now, let me take a drink. I'm very parched. Let me tell you what, they're starting to deport them. Yeah. Their people are filing cases. The women are filing cases in their state saying, hey, here's where they're at. They have this. They're living here. They got money. They're not giving me money. What they're court ordered to do. 
the court then turns around and files a case. And now evidently it's making it up to where people are getting deported. Oh, let me hear. I'm in the Philippines now. Let me renew, renew my visa. All right. Renew my visa, extend my visa, my visitor's visa. And all of a sudden, there it is. They're coming up. Oh, wanted back in the USA for neglect for paying child support. Boom. Nope, you're not getting that visa renewed. Boom. There you are. You're getting arrested. We're holding you and we're deporting you back. So these turds, these scumbag pieces of shit that run here to try to get out of child support, now they're cracking down on that too. So take care of your responsibilities. Uh, Mitch says the Philippine governments can determine if you can get in the Philippines for your felony offensive. It's totally up to the BOI. You're correct. There's people that one of the things you're not going to get in here if you're on that list, if you're on that, you know, that list that I'm not going to say it, but it, you know, it's like, sounds like Pedro, the, 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 the mount, the Pedro, the, the Mexican taco mouse Pedro, but I'm not going to actually say the word. If you're registered with that, you more than likely are not going to get in this country. They don't want you here. And if you do get here and you get in, I've heard of this, they get in and then they run a background check on them when they're going through immigration and they stop them and say, no, get the hell out of our country. You're not wanted. But there are people with felonies that have gotten into the Philippines. Like I said, people can make mistakes and you can get in here. But, you know, it is, it's up to the government. Take the chance, I guess. I mean, it's a risk. You know, but yeah, you come in here with different things. Eventually, they'll, they'll, you know, things will catch up. You know, there's a great YouTuber. Everybody calls this guy great, great YouTuber. Matter of fact, I talked about him. Um, and I've seen the documents. He ran from the States, and he, won, and he was wanted for neglect of paying of child support. Now, okay, make a mistake, you pay it back, you catch up, and you run with it. Great, great. Good for you. You know, but then again, you've got a lot of guys here in the Philippines that father children here from Filipino women, all right? They're no longer with them. They might throw a couple pesos, a couple crumbs, I call it, to the mother, you know, to make her happy, saying, you know, I'm at least I'm paying child support, but they're not even involved in the child's life. They throw a couple pesos to the mother and say, I'm paying child support. Well, I say if you register that child through the BI here as an American citizen, which a lot of them do, why? Because then they can get write-offs. Well, then your child support should be based on America. That's just my two cents. Uh, anyways, let, let's go over. I was checking this out. Let me remove this here. Stop screen. Let me remove this here, but I want to bring this up. World Zoom. Let's go over to World Zoom. Hang on. Let me uh, present that. Share the screen with World Zoom YouTube. All right. Share. All right. Where are we at here? There, there's World Zoom's YouTube channel, right? You guys see it. Uh, the last video that was just posted was five days ago, right? So he hasn't had a chance to get in there. Let me see. Maybe, okay, this one was six. Pause. All right, let's go down. I'm just looking to see if there was, if he answers any of the questions. All right. I don't see any great, no, 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 no. Unless he doesn't answer his questions or, uh, you know, at least acknowledge the fact that he sees them. Um, let us go. Let me try this one. Let me go seven days ago. Here, he's up, he's talking. Now let's pause that. All right. Now it doesn't appear that um, yeah, yeah, he does. It appears that he he can, you know, he does. Here's here he does. All right, so let's go to the latest video because there's no way he got a chance to uh Charm. any any answer any of the questions. Let me see. So let's go to the newest first. Let's see what let's see what people are saying. Let's see what people are saying here. 
This guy here, the real estate king, says, looks like it's back to mommy's house just in time for the Notre Dame spring football game. See, he can't answer these and he can't delete any of these comments that are coming at him. All right. Because according to what they're saying, he's in jail. The Philippines online immigration service worked. It actually does work. Paul David Cardwell stated a few days before his pending deportation back to the USA for fraud. Okay, whatever that is, brown boy slimmy. Ah, appreciate your information. Shibu is where I'm, I'm touching ground. Hope to have the same experience. Thanks a lot. Enjoy your day. A few minutes before I'm telling you this happens and look at the car. I'm a few minutes from Paul's hometown, and I noticed his absence, so I did look at his court record. There is a Paul Cardwell in a city a few hours facing, few hours away facing charges. Trouble is the guy is six foot two. I'm hoping it's a case of mistaken identity. If I can help, please let me know. I owe you for, for helping me a few months ago. Good for you. All right, Filipino. He's still going to have his followers. No matter what happens, no matter what is said, no matter what people say, he will still have his followers. That's how it works. Jeffrey Epstein had his followers, right? P. Diddy has his followers. All these people will have followers. They haven't opened up their eyes. Anyways. For the people tuning into this guy's channel, he was just detained by the BI and is facing deportation back to the U.S. for insane fraud charges. Good riddance. <laughs> I don't understand how he... Uh, Steve Carr 9 says, I, I don't understand how he could leave the U.S. and not... U.S. and not be stopped by the Philippines. By the Philippines caught him, although I thought that he did his time for his crimes. See, I thought so too. I'm the same as you. I thought he did his time. Like I said, people make mistakes. Maybe he did something stupid again, although he shouldn't have learned from his first mistake. Hopefully this is all a mistake for his, for his sake. We don't know. We don't know. Time will tell. I knew there was a reason I never subbed. Can you please do a review of the Cebu prison? Live from Cebu jail. <laughs> ah, I guess that caught up with you again. What the heck? Is it true that Paul's pass is catching up with him in Cebu jail as he awaits deportation? It's more fun in the Philippines. <coughs> Deported and blacklist. Adios, world zoom. Don't drop the soap. Bro, did they arrest your arse? Go directly to jail. Foo not, Pasco. Or collect 200. You collect it more than your share illegally as it is. So these are the comments that are being uh, thrown around in his last video. He doesn't have the chance to get in there and uh, say anything. Oh, that's Dwayne Kelly. Dwayne Kelly must follow him because he said it's been a few days. Is everything okay? And somebody replied. He was arrested for being deported and being deported back for the USA for crimes he committed there. I think he is locked up. Anyways, it just goes on. People putting their two cents in about uh, his deportation. Um, I don't know. I, I, I guess we, when he gets out, gets back to the States uh, or whatever happens where he can get back online and make some comments, he'll, he'll clear up the air again, right? Like I said, I thought he cleared it up. I thought he cleared up that debt or who knows. If it isn't his child, then child support has to be paid. He's not being deported back for child support. No, he's being deported back for fraud, some type of fraud. Um, but Mark K., if we're talking about child support, yeah, you know, these... Uh, guys that run here to the Philippines and other countries or even back in the States that try to get out of their child support. And like I was saying earlier, you got guys here that father children here. All right. Don't work out with the mother or whatever. <clears throat> They'll send money to the mother. And I know one that sends quite a bit to the mother. 
and he truly does love his his child and uh he keeps receipts for the money he sends to the mother and like i said it's quite a bit and good for him uh then there's guys here that father children that it doesn't work out with the mother <clears throat> Yet they'll throw the mother a few pesos. Here, you only need a few thousand. If I send you more than that, the whole family's going to live off of me. Well, what about me when I pay child support and many other outstanding men, men, we're called men, paid their child support and paid a lot of money for child support the wife remarried, married another man who had a very or has a very or had a very, very good job. They lived very well. Did they need that much money in child support? No, but the courts ordered it. I did without, yet I paid. All right. So what if you got to send a lot of money to the to the girl? Big deal. But. These guys will turn around, run to the U.S. Embassy, all right, <clears throat> get that child registered as an American citizen, all right, so they can get benefits. No problem with that, benefits. However, your child support should be based on whatever city you're res- or whatever address you call United States back home, whether it's Pennsylvania, Washington, California, America, wherever in the United States, that's where your child support should be based out of. You know, you want to sit there and you want to get your child registered as an American citizen. All right. Then you're not with that mother. You barely see the child, but you throw a couple pesos towards the child's mother because I'm a good father. I send money now because you don't want to look like a piece of shit, which you actually are. All right. They're cutting down on them guys that are running here doing that, that are being court ordered back in the States. But like I said, a real man knows how to pay the child support, doesn't run from it. Uh, Hello, Philly. It's me, McGee. Hello, Philly. Where are we at here? I felt he gained a trust and was a guest on quite a few Dimagetti channels, even the P. Yeah, I mean, con man. They're cons. They know how they they can tell you a story, and they're good at their story. He told a story, and he was good at telling the story. Now maybe if the man just outright, flat out, came out and said, hey, listen, I made all these mistakes. I'm here as a man with a second chance in life, all right? I was in America, and I did all this conning, and I did this bad stuff, and I defrauded this, and I did this, and I did that. All right, from what I, from from what I was told, my the story goes on. He went to Thailand and defrauded there. Either way, all right, he'd have been better off, and people would have probably respected him more if he just said, "Listen, I made this mistake, and you know, I paid it back, and you know, and now I'm." I've given a second chance in life and I'm here and I'm enjoying life here. And you know, da, da, da. if he came out right off the bat and admitted to it, people probably would have been like, you know what? Good for you. Good for you. People do and are entitled to a second chance. They are, you know, I'm working in a prison. I seen guys, they made mistakes. They made mistakes. They got out and you never seen them again. Then you got guys that got out and never learned a lesson. They kept coming back. Right. Uh, but he should have just admitted to it. Well, yeah, he, he's got people, you know, he conned people, he fooled people. There's other people here too. Trust me. There's other YouTubers here. You guys don't hear. We as YouTuber, we hear what goes be on, we hear what goes on behind the scenes. I've got other YouTubers contact me and say, you know what? Da 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 da. You know, I even here, even here in this city, you guys don't hear what goes on behind the scenes. All right. YouTubers will only tell you what they want you to hear. All right. Same way. <laughs> the same way. But anyways. Oh, speaking of guys, you guys, I put out I put out a survey. 
the other day about who I am, who am I, who should I pass the torch to? I've been here in Angley City eight years. I think I've made my name um, going close to. It's funny because somebody said my channel is failing. It's no good. It's whatever. Um, going close to 60 million views. Let me see. 60. Yes, yeah, 60 million. Coming up on 60 million in eight years. Sounds like a failed channel to me. How about you guys? Kind of sound like a failed channel with 60 million views. Uh, I think last month, and I'll bring all these numbers up to you. Uh, in an upcoming video, I think last month, one, let me see, YouTube sends me monthly, weekly, and monthly at the end of the month, statuses on uh, what my channel's doing, how it's doing, where am I getting my views and everything like that. Uh, they give me a, a bar thing here. It says, people watch your channel. All right, that, this goes back to October, November, December, January, February, and March of this past year. Your March recap. This is a March Recap. Now, remember, this, according to some people, I wouldn't say some people, one person, I'm a failing YouTube channel. All right. So let me show you this. Let me see. Maybe you guys can see it. Like I said, I'll, I'll bring this up on another video. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right. That was for the month of March, the very end. All right. Like I said, it does all the way up February, March. What does that say? It says, people watched your channel. You ready for this? This is how many views I got for the month of March for my failing channel. 1.8 million views. I don't know if it shows it or not, or it's showing it backwards. But that's pretty damn good for a failing channel, 1.8 million views. And like I said, coming up on 50 or coming up on 60 million views. But anyways, back to the point I was saying. Make sure, yeah, says style. <laughs> Make sure to uh, get your vote in. Get your vote in. And if you feel there's a couple I put up there, I put uh, Chubb Stub C, I put Ace Bachelor Tool, I put up uh, Andy Omar, I put up It's My Life. And then that fifth one was like, whoever you think, what do you guys think? Make sure to sit there and uh, vote, 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 vote. Yeah, Lutz Diary Adventures. Uh, anyways, I give you one or two views. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, 1.8 million sounds a lot, but what about the pea? She's killing it. Yeah, she's killing it. Yeah, it's going Social Blade. Social Blade does not give you accurate numbers. All right, they're telling me I gross... Monthly, I bring in about what I don't know, seven, eight thousand US dollars. I wish, uh, but not close. Their numbers aren't all there, they're not all correct. However, the amount of views, in other words, how many views your channel gets, is correct because I can, I can cross reference to my channel. Uh, also, the amount of videos you put up, uh, the numbers when it comes to also like the amount of views come up. Uh, you got to figure in that those numbers are also with <clears throat> those numbers are also with shorts. All right. Not only that, guys, YouTube and, and they even tell me where my views are coming from. Let me bring it up here. Like I said, I'm going to do a whole video on all about my failing channel here coming up. Uh, let me bring it up here. For the month of March. All right. Like I say, it, it it's small. I can't. Uh, but they get like I said, they give me a a, a monthly overview. Seven percent of my views were off of the videos I published in March, and I didn't publish a lot of videos in March. All right, published from October to February. Like people, in other words, YouTube pushed out videos from uh, October to February. Two percent. All right, published over six months ago. In other words, videos that have been published over six months ago. 90% of my views came from those videos that were published over six months ago. Just because I don't put out a video on a regular basis, YouTube's algorithm still pushes videos out there, right? They push them out there. So not, pretty, not bad for a failed channel. <laughs> uh, 
IRL, walking around. Yeah, yeah, IRL, you could. Yeah, here's the thing, guys. You guys are getting a preview for a video coming up. I'm basing who I'm passing the torch to, to somebody doing something different. That's all I'm going to say. Somebody that's doing something different. They may or may not have the numbers. Don't matter. I may or may not even like them. Or her. Or them. It could be a couple. I'm basing it off of somebody doing something different. Everybody's doing the same thing. Look at the drama Getty. I mean the Duma Getty crew. New guys coming in. They want to interview people. Interviewing has been done. Find something new, something exciting, something to turn people's head. And that's why I say when I move down to the province, we're down there. It's it's gonna be, you're gonna, it's gonna be day and night with the shit I plan to do, the videoing I plan to do, and how I plan to do things down there. Day and night. I just First of all, there. Who else is down here? At eight miles from home, you know. Um, but other people there. I don't know of anybody else that's living down there and doing it. A lot of times when you see videos from Shergal Island, there are people that are passing through. They're on vacation. They're putting up beautiful content. They're showing. They're showing the touristy things. All right. I want to get out and show. Of course, of course, the touristy things, but also the non-touristy things. The people, the people and the culture and the things and the happiness and the smiles and you name it. That's what I want to do. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I feel I'm done. My mission has been accomplished here in Angeli City. Like I said, something different. Not doing the same old, same old. Anyway. You are not moving. Yes, Mark, I am not moving. You are correct. <laughs> uh, Mark. Wait, hang on. Let me put Mark up here. Mark, I have a PayPal account. All right. You can click on it. You can find it on my About page. All right. Feel free to click on that. Dump. If you're in America, dump a thousand U.S. dollars, and if you're in the Philippines, dump fifty thousand pesos in it. That fifty thousand or one thousand U.S. dollars is you saying Philly's not moving. If I do not move, I will return your money along with fifty thousand or a thousand U.S. dollars of your choice. So if I am not moving, do it. Put it in there. Put it in there. Lock in your bet. Lock it in. Philly, you'll never send it back to me. Oh, yes, I will. Trust me. <laughs> send it back. Lock it in, Mark. If I'm not moving. Lock it in. Andy, what are you, Andy Weber, are you talking about this house we're living in? Uh, we don't own this. We rent this house. So I once I leave here, I'm I'm left. I'm out. Goodbye. Thank you, House. We've had some good memories in here and good time here. Uh, you know, celebrated Christmas's birthdays here, uh, happy times and everything. We've had a good time here, but it's just time to move on. Uh, yeah. No, we don't own this. And down in the province, things are progressing. Walls are coming up. The finishing is being done. The bathrooms are being installed. The kitchen's being expanded. Everything I talked about in the video is being done. <clears throat> and if he dies, you have lost a thousand. Yeah, true, true. However, to go for a good cause, right? I'll make sure I'll tell Lut to buy me flowers, right? <laughs> uh, one more food drop off for the back and bridge people and then call it as a career. They're in Anglis. I can't find them. I don't know where they're at. Uh, however, if you guys that have been with me for a while, and if you haven't, there is a gentleman lives here in Angeli City that goes by the name of Banana Man. His real name is Dave. I've gotten to know him 
throughout the years, and I've talked to him quite a bit, and we speak about a lot of different things. And he has a feeding program here through the Rotary Club. He is legally allowed to feed kids here because he's he's in a legitimate, recognized, uh, what do you call it, charity, the Rotary Club. And I think he told me he is coming up on one million, one million feed. In other words, he's coming up to where it's like one million kids he's fed. And uh, he's asked me to film it and video it. And uh, so, yeah, um, I do. I, I do plan to, you know, he did say, he said, I only want you. You, I've known you the longest, and I want you to film it. And I'm like, cool, let me know when. Uh, so, yes, I will do that one more feed. Um, but as far as the back and bridge people, I, I, I don't know where they're at. I really don't. Uh, is there a walking street in the province? Nah, walking street is one of a kind. I wouldn't say that because I think in Padia or in Thailand, there's a walking street. But here in Angeles City, here in the Philippines, walking street. The world famous walking street is one of a kind. And people will say, well, it's not world famous. Well, when you have guys coming from all parts of the world to Angeles City, to the Philippines, to the walking street, specifically to the walking street, I would say, well, that's pretty world known. Take Take the street you live on right now, all right, and see if many people know that street name, right? Iggy, thank you, kind sir. Thank you for this super chat. You have a great day also. Thank you, sir. I would like to help his cause. How to do that? Baklak, baklak. Uh, this guy, we got a name here. His name is Baklak, Baklak, 37. Uh, wait, wait till I do that video. Uh, if you if you live here in Angley City, you can. A lot of people will go buy cans of sardines. All right, that's a big thing. Cans of sardines, and you could take it up to Kokomo's. And as you walk into Kokomo's, there's a box there that says about Banana Man and the feeding program, or just ask the girls in there; they know. You can drop things like that off there. Do not drop off money, whatever you do. Uh, but when I do hit the video, uh, you know, for that big feed and that, you know, I, I know it's coming up soon. Uh, I will leave the information to how you can contact and where you can send stuff to, uh, like through the Rotary Club and stuff. Um, but yeah, just wait. But like I said, if you're here, you can do that. You can take sacks of rice up to Kokomo's and put it there and tell those people, you know, make sure Banana Man, they all know him. They all know him, uh, but that's the best thing to do right now. Banana Man was at the restaurant. Yeah, you are correct. A Santo Street and Walking Street. He hangs out at uh, Envy's quite a bit for breakfast. You'll see him there. I've heard of Walking Street in the Philippines for at least 50 years. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Best thing. Kokomo Perch will miss you. <laughs> Take it to Kokomo's. Who is Banana Man? Banana Man Desserts 67. goes. His, his real name is Dave. Uh, he's been doing a feeding program here. I just said it. Here in Angeles City for uh, the kids. And I think he feeds twice a day. And he's been doing it for years, years and years. You are never leaving that El Presidente behind. Is the Philippines going into lockdown again? I haven't heard that, Kelly. Kelly's my garage. I haven't heard that. Um, the only thing they're doing is uh, school, you know. I was saying in the beginning of the video that this past week they've closed school. Too hot. A couple of kids, you know, kids are falling out from the heat. Uh, however, 
Hannah Grace has, and other kids that are in public school have air conditioning, but they said all schools, so what do we do? Mark, shut up or shut up, Mark. That mark, put up or shut up. Is it Mark? Oh, Mark, Mark's a guy that uh uh that one it says I'm not leaving. Yeah, put up or shut up, right? <laughs> I heard about walking cough. In the 80s, Walker Street was Fields Avenue. Well, see, Bob, here's the thing. Fields Avenue is Fields Avenue. Walker Street's Walking Street. Maybe in the 80s it was all, like you said, maybe in the 80s it was all one. Fields Avenue, Walking Street all flowed into one. Now it's actually Walking Street, which starts at MacArthur, at the very beginning near the McDonald's, runs all the way up to... Envy. Then from Envy, it turns into Fields Avenue or Perimeter Road, they call it. So maybe back in the 80s, you, you probably was correct. You were, uh, it probably all was Fields Avenue. I don't know. Is the prison you worked at going into lockdown again? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't. I have How would I know? <laughs> How would I know? I don't work there. Uh, 90s plus is a heat wave. Hey, you know when a Filipino says it's hot, it's hot. Walker Street is a section of Fields Avenue. Okay. All right, Ricky. Oh, Ricky. I was just down at Tequila, not Tequila Reef, uh, uh, Sitting Bull, the old Charlie's. I was just down there. Your friend's still not there. Uh, I haven't seen her. Like I said, when I, when I do see her, I will tell her and I will take a picture and send it to you. But she, like I said, like I told you, she got gotten pregnant and had the kid and I haven't seen her since. Uh, so anyways, GR, how's it going? GR. Uh, Jim says, my wife gets a week off this coming week because of the heat. Yes. She teaches. Is stiff grade in public school in Los Pinas City, Philippines. Yeah, Jim. They, they, you know, I. Everybody complains about taxes back in America, right? School taxes. I got to pay school taxes and this and that. Well, here in the Philippines, there's no school taxes. All right. The school taxes back in the states. Well, that's you know you have nice air conditioning when it's hot. If you're in a, you know, in a, in a state, in a city where it's hot, you've got that nice air conditioning. You know, if you live in a state where you got winter, you got that nice heat. So your school taxes pay for all that stuff. Here in the Philippines, your public schools, man, they're just open room schools with windows. And like I was saying earlier, they only allow so many fans per classroom. Even if I wanted to donate 10 fans for Bing Bing's class, Nope, they don't. Uh, these kids get hot, you know, and they get sweaty and they pass out. So, yeah, they're, they're going to call school off. Um, I'm not going to be surprised if with this heat being like this, if they do go back to modular like they did during the lockdown for Bing Bing. Um, wouldn't surprise me a bit. But, yeah, the heat is bad. Yeah, Ramadan holiday is this week also, starting what, tomorrow? You know, then I got two days off for the holiday, uh, 9th and 10th. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm in the line of the solar eclipse right now. That's T, the X. It says, Claude says, well, if your father, a child, either in the Philippines or even American, Australian, and split from their mother, you still need to pay child support. I agree with you, Claude. However, back in America, back in Australia, wherever you're at, they're going to determine 
where you live, whatever state you live in, it's going to determine how much money you owe in child support, right? Doesn't matter if the child's mother remarries, remarries to a millionaire, you know, it doesn't matter. They're going to set a set fee. That's what you owe in child support, all right? So, like I was saying, if I'm an American or I'm an Australian or a Brit or whatever, and I impregnate a Filipino girl here, and uh, she gives birth to that child, and things don't work out, all right? Yet, me as an American citizen, I want to go file to have that child as a dual citizen or as an American citizen also because I'm an American citizen and they need, they should get, you know, registered as an American citizen also. Okay, great. You should also be paying child support, whatever state you're in or registered living in back in America. Like I said, these guys, they'll take that benefits they can get for that child Throw the mother a few pesos here or there in the Philippines and say, I'm the greatest dad since sliced bread, but they're never around. They don't talk to the kid, but they're a, a big shot because they can throw the mother a few hundred pesos a month so they don't look like a piece of shit to their friends. No, they should be paying the same child support in that city back in America or wherever they're from here in the Philippines. They want the benefits. Well, then benefits come with paying too. Uh, y'all ever get any rain? Oh, I don't know when the last time it rained here was. Just join. Who is the YouTuber? Hey, Vin, if you're just joining the YouTuber, I, you have to go back and watch the video, but let me uh, bring it in. Uh, he was an American, he's an American fugitive. He was arrested by the BI for fraud. Uh, his name is Paul David Cardwell, 57. That's his name. Uh, his YouTube channel is called World Zoom. W O R L D Zoom. Let me let me do something here. You guys can go into his channel and uh, post comments uh, on his latest video because he can't answer it because he's sitting in jail. Uh, there it is. That's his channel, World Zoom. He's been arrested for fraud, uh, evidently from back in the States. He never cleared it. I don't know the whole entire thing. I can only American fugitive arrest. So let me even put that link in there if you want to check out the, uh, you know, the link that's here in the Philippines. Click on that. You can check. You can read it. What I went over was pretty much basically what's been put out there. You know, the whole the details, the nitty gritties, and all that we don't know. Uh, so yeah, Ryan, check out the VA Manila. You might be able to still receive the singles vaccine. They're giving them to veterans in the U.S. even after a couple outbreaks. Yes, you are correct, David or Mitch. They do come up here. The VA does come up here, uh, and um, they do offer vaccinations and stuff. Uh, the problem is, I get vaccinated. Well, I have to be around for the second vaccination, and I won't be here. Uh, anyways, oh, damn right, you're damn right, Gypsy or Rose, lock up Diddy and Jay Z. That's right, Gr. <laughs> all right, all right, Bakla. Okay, Philip Bryan, if that's your real name, time to hit the sack here. I don't know. You will miss me. Hope your shingles better. Just throw some aloe salava and mango on it. All right, Bach Lock. Take care. Well, wouldn't you keep a low profile if you want it to not make a YouTube channel and do interviews? Yeah, true. Um, he didn't get busted. This guy didn't get busted for making, you know, putting his name out there on YouTube and everything like that. However, he did get, uh, people did bust him as far as how truthful he was on some of the information that he did put out. 
he didn't get busted. Like the BI didn't like look at his YouTube channel and be like, ah, oh, you know, let me bust this guy and shit. And no, he applied for an extension. <coughs> he applied for a visitor's visa extension from what I'm reading. And the, uh, the red lights went on or yellow lights or whatever you want to call them went on. And BI said, wait, hang on. This guy's wanted for fraud. And they just took it from there. All right, BTM. All right, guys. Well, I'm at, a, I'm at one hour. I'm going to keep this short. Like I said, everybody's on the bandwagon. Everybody wants to talk about uh, this big, big bus world zoom. Paul, David Cardwell. They all want to talk about him. The lives. Everybody's doing lives or hopping on it. And that's just my two cents. People make mistakes. Maybe it is a mistake. Maybe, you know, it hasn't gone through the system where he's cleared up his his uh, name or hasn't. I don't know. I don't know. Because, you know, well, maybe then again, because the systems are, they work great here. All the systems work great here. Uh, anyways, well, maybe, he'll, maybe he'll be back out in a month. Maybe he'll be out in a week. Maybe he's out right now. Maybe he's working a process. Hey, this isn't me. Or, hey, I got a lawyer. My lawyer's saying, hey, no, listen, all this has been cleared up. Da, 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 da. Who knows? Who knows? Time will tell. So anyways, guys, I'm going to get going. Tell, look, look, she's got my vote. Number one. Wow. Huh. Is there any way you can convince Adrian to set up a T-shirt stand on the new beach? We can tell Junior the tourist money is better there. Yeah. <laughs> if we don't make it through the eclipse, see you on the other side. That's right. Where's JR? Where's Gypsy Rose? See you on the dark side of the moon. Ah, you'll see the old newspaper articles. Please vlog the air crate homes in Woods Province. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll definitely be vlogging down there. Some people think I'm just going to quit vlogging altogether. No, no. It's just a newer newer area, newer. I, I'm telling you guys, I've my mind, I've got different things I want to do and how I want to present different things. And, you know, here, here so what, what, what else can you do, you know? And like I said, don't forget to vote. I put a poll out. Don't forget to vote. Please vote. Your vote means a lot. Vote Pedro. Anyways. Um, World Zoom. I stopped watching him. What he said, he was a Navy SEAL. Then he got caught in a lie. That would probably, too, have three going uh, three years ago. Yeah. Navy SEAL. Well, Jim Alner, Alner. I hope that's how it is. Jim Alner. You know, Angeles City has a lot of Navy SEALs. I can tell you that much right now. A lot of Navy SEALs and a lot of millionaires here, too. A lot of guys driving Porsches and Maseratis and a lot of them here. A lot of them here in Angeles City. Uh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What time is it? 1230. See, that's the thing. You know, it is 1230 here. Billy wants me to say, uh, nah, maybe I'll keep... Look, do you want to say hello? Maybe I'll bring Lud over to say hello. Look, would you like to come over and say hello? Lud's going to come over and say hello. What else am I going to do? Maybe I'll just keep talking. What else am I going to do? Sit down, watch some videos. I don't need to take a break from talking to vape because I don't vape anymore. However, somebody says I vape still. What? Mark Thornton next. Nah, that's old news. This is new news, right? Hardwell's new news. All right, but say something. Ugh. Hello? <laughs> what should I say? Like, like two story? Oh, oh my gosh. Hello. So, it's a bio street protection. Oh, virus street. All right. <clears throat> Mitch, Mitch, Mitch Bromwell. Hello, hello. The travel. Hi, Ate. Kumusta? 
France Franco E. Hello, Lot Lot. Really, Rose. Good afternoon, Lot. Yes, good afternoon. Ah, no, I don't know what time it. Oh no, no, actually, it's night today. I know. Live, live, live too short. Good to see you. Thanks. Mitch, Brian give you a sticker. Oh, I see a lot of sticker <laughs> all over. Bob, Bob Kirkman, hello. Terry Pleasant, hello Lot and family. What's bug you the most about Pili? What bug me the most? He talk too much sometimes. <laughs> Woods light, Woody lights. So you convince your mom to move to the province. What are you talking about? My mom, move, my mom always moves, lives in the province. I convince her to come here in Manila, uh, in Pampanga for a while. Jim Bukyo, Musana, Mabute, Samuel, good morning, Louise and Brian from Les Center, England, UK. Oh boy, England, I like England. No, actually, I like to meet, oh, I like to see France. Patrick C, Terry Pleasant. Yeah, today over here in Angela City is really, really hot. Mitch Bromwell, does he pick his name in public? <laughs> name in public. Fui <clears throat> Pachoy! Stay there, okay. Mommy will be back. Yes. Beautiful lot, but what's up, Brian? Greetings from Las Vegas. Hello, Las Vegas. Wow. Las Vegas. There's a certain place that I went down in United States when I was in United States. But um, one of the places I like to go before is like Las Vegas, Florida. But we don't have, we don't have, eventually we have no time to come there. Life too shorty. What's for lunch today? We don't eat lunch. We only eat twice a day. I try to avoid like lunch things like uh, we eat lunch like kind of snacks, but it's not like how you know how Filipino always eat three times a day. So this is one thing also kind of like, you know, because um, here we've been doing it like how many years uh, I, I only eat like snacks and lunch. Then I was I was like, I would, I would like to make my dinner five to six o'clock. So this when uh, moving also in ano is kind of different because you know, like as Filipino over here we need to eat three times a day, L breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's not even included the snacks. <laughs> Scott free, thank you so much. Hi Maganda. First night he's talking about your man. What are you talking about? I don't know what, who you're talking. Woody Lights. Hello from Tucson, Tucson, Arizona. Mm, what's this? Train Rick? I don't know if I pronounce it properly, Train, but hello, Jerry and Zon in Angela City. Bob Kirkman, can you cook sisig? Oh, you're gonna wait for that? I make that sisig yesterday. All I need to do is uh, going to upload that on my channel. So I told, I, as I said, we make different kind of way how we make the sisig, uh, how we make the sisig. Like each count, each places over here, they do in their way. Like, you know how you got the food, you make twisted it. It's big, like, I'm always like to experiment things sometimes. So there's a lot, like, if I watch, if I watch like cooking, and there's certain ingredients over there that my asawa is not a big fans of it i'm gonna take that out i'm gonna change differently so the taste is gonna come differently but i make sisig last night for the first time so and uh, i think it's pretty good but my asawa likes to get crunchy so i make it like rubbery things uh i hope that you have a large garden in the philippines province oh boy mitch mitch where 
where were Mitch. Oh yeah, I have a big garden over there. You name it. You will see when we are going to move back down. The, we move down there. You know, even though when we come there for a couple of days, uh, my head or my brain was already planning for everything. Okay, this one here, this, this is when there's. When I was talking with my mom, we also planning to plant different stuff like you know banana, root crops, cassava cake because we cannot we we. We eat. We can eat that for snacks, you know. Instead of buying all the time, like um, uh, junk food. So I prepare more, like kind of more healthier. Like you know, root crops is healthy for you. Corn is healthy for you. So that one that was planning to make that one. It's also like as I said, like living in the province, which is Shergao, is very um. Kind of like it's not very. It's like there is a, a different. It comes to uh, prices. It's come to like you know expenses for food because it's um, it's by the ocean, so they have a taxes for that too. So their vegetables down there has like kind of higher than city. However, as I said, if you are in the place where you know everything is kind of expensive you're gonna think something and you're gonna replace something and you're gonna grow something so you don't need to buy that different kind of vegetables mark uh i uh, know um it will be chick no poor barbecue Come here. <laughs> I need to go. I need to drink water. Okay, guys, you have a good night. Okay, wherever you go, stay safe. All right. Hi. All right. Let's see. Where are we at here? Yeah. Does she get jealous when Brian talks to Lady Boys? Mark wants to know. Mark's the guy that thinks I'm not moving. Well, Mark, jealous. he gets jealous when I talk. Do you get jealous when I talk to lady boys? Oh, me? No. Yeah. No. No. I trust my yeah, we have we have what's called trust. All right. When you're in a relationship, you have what's called trust. Okay. Uh, no, Mark. Why don't you? Here you go. Let let uh, let me. Happy. Anybody wants to join? Mark, if you want to join, Mark, that link, I just put a link up. Click that link and uh, you can join the live stream. Anybody else wants to join the live stream? Join the live stream. Uh, all you got to do is click that link and uh, you can uh, join the live stream. You can say what you have to say. Mark, there it is. A live stream, just click it at https streamyard.com. All that, all that, all you gotta do is click it, follow it. You can get on the live stream with me and you can talk. Anybody else wants to get on, uh, feel free to hop on. Uh, say what you gotta say. Simple as that. Come on, Mark. Jump on the live stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. I say, I, you know, I said I'm going to leave, but do what? Sit around? It's hot. I'm not going outside air conditioning. Uh, not this time. Still my bath towel. Still my towel after getting out of the shower. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh. Went down and uh, had me some sausage gravy this morning. Very good. Well, and nobody wants to jump on and say anything. Anything they got to say about World Zoom getting arrested? Want to talk about anything? Anybody? Mark Cardwell, since uh, that's the uh, hot topic here in the Philippines amongst YouTubers. It's always something, right? 
what was it last month when uh what's his name uh Thornton Mark Thornton down to ground zero was getting into fights uh there's always something right always something like I said earlier you guys you guys only see what youtubers want to tell you about uh no I haven't talked to Ed uh <clears throat> You guys only see what we want you to see in our lives. There's a lot of shit that goes on off of YouTube amongst YouTubers and things that people say and things that I hear. And they come from, 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 from me, they come from very reliable sources. The people that I know that tell me these things and things they've heard and things that they've heard people say and seen people do come from reliable sources. You know, I'm not a drunk. I don't run around this city like a drunk. You know, I don't, my information doesn't come from drunks either. All right. These people that <clears throat> I hear things from are reliable people. They've been here a while. They're respectable people. They're not garbage. All right. But you guys only hear what YouTubers want you to hear in and amongst the YouTube community, those people that are here, all right? There's a lot of shit that goes on that we don't tell people or don't say anything. Uh, anyways, we got one. We got Neil. Neil, what do you got to say? What's Whoa, up, Philly? How you doing, Neil? I'm all right, man. Um, coming through, coming through uh, loud and clear. Good, good, good. I, I, I can't put my video up right now, but... I just wanted to say, you know, I, I, I watched uh, that guy's channel every now and then. Um, and he just seemed like a bad dude, but um, I think he had some baggage back home. Right. Because um, he, um, he disclosed a lot about his history. And um, in my mind, I was like, well, how'd you get a passport? You know, because they, they make it kind of difficult for felons to get passports. Yeah, and no, because I, I think it depends on what you did. And, you know, yeah, all that yeah. came out, what he did years ago. That all yes. came out. Uh, yes. You know, people can make mistakes. And my thing is, if did he if he did the time and paid for his crime, all right? Yeah. I wouldn't, I would think there would be nothing to take him back or hold him on. We don't know all the details, you know, no, we don't, um, but, but one, one thing would, if he fell behind on his restitution, true, you know, if he fell behind on restitution, that would generate a warrant. True. Maybe not an arrest warrant, but just a warrant to, um, kind of reel him in because you know every warrant is not a, an arrest warrant and if the philippines got a notification say this individual you know uh defrauded on his uh payments uh we'd like to talk to him right right what it came up in the system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my they, understanding they, the philippines have they, they went computerized with their background checks. So right. they get and instant the gratification. Is, but yeah, hit. and the thing is, they didn't, it's not like, you know, okay, there it is. He's won it. All right, we're going to just, maybe if he makes a mistake, we'll go arrest him. You know what I mean? Like back in the States, you know, unless mm -hmm. you've done something crazy, you know, say you didn't, say you didn't pay a ticket. Well, now they issue a warrant for your arrest. They're not coming to arrest mm -hmm. you. However, if you get pulled over, they're gonna, then they're going to snatch you up. But they actually went out and hunted this man down. You know, they, it, they said that they put a task force together to get this man. So they really wanted him. Or who knows, right? Right. The right. pony show. I don't know. Uh, so. Uh, I kind of thought that he got his life on track and was doing the right things. Yeah. But I didn't know him. You know, from a can of paint. 
Right, right. Well, we'll see what happens, right? Time will tell. Well, I'm Bob, how you doing? How you doing, Brian? Good, good. How about you, Mark? Mark, Mark, how you doing, Mark? Great. You gonna put you gonna put that money up there, Mark? <laughs> I Maybe I so. will. Maybe he will. Yeah. What do you got to say, Bob? Mark has nothing to say. I was Cat's talking about. Cat's been, got his this, tongue now. I've been watching you for a long time. I was the one who made a comment about uh, Walking Street. I was stationed at uh, Clark from 85 to the end of 88, beginning 89. And uh, when you left, like, Checkpoint, where SM Mall is, I guess now, by the old main gate, you went right straight up. I mean, it was a straight shot all the way up to MacArthur. That was that was all Fields Avenue. And then from Checkpoint down was Perimeter Road. So, but there was a big area right there as you come out the main gate and went to the right where all the jeepneys used to set. And you'd jump on a jeepney there and it'd take you to okay. Angeles. But if you was going down to okay. Dao, if you're going down to Dao, you caught a jeepney down to the end of, of Fields and then jumped on a, another jeepney going down to Dao or something like that, Mabalaka or whatever. I was a I was right. a cop there. I was a cop there, at Clark. I uh, I appreciate your uh, videos that you did at the uh, Canine Cemetery. It was a the kind of a special place for a lot of us, you know, cops of you know, with dog handlers and stuff like that. So, right. It was. Uh, you know, I I was just out there the other week. All right, and uh, there's there's a bunch of headstones there that don't have names on them. Now, I always thought maybe the weather wore the names off or were they put there with the anticipation of future dogs passing away and then they bury them and then put the name on the headstone. I don't know about that. You know, the when you first yeah. went there, they had the, uh, you know, the big platform where the statue sat. There was a statue that sat on that uh, yeah, big, uh, yeah, yeah. big old piece yeah. of concrete. That statue is now in the Security Police uh, Museum in Blackland Air Force Base. I was there when they got when the guy who created it. You know, we uh, we have a reunion every year. We get back together somewhere here in the United States, and you know, we were part of the Third Security Police Group, which was Eric Clark. We have a reunion every year, and we go somewhere. And last, we've had a couple trips down to. Lackland, and we went into the security uh, police museum, and this guy got to see that statue. He thought it was lost during Pinatubo, and brought tears to his eyes. It was, a, it was great, great to just see the statue again, you know? Yeah, I, I uh, someone actually told me, because I didn't know what happened to either, somebody actually told me flat out when the United States pulled out, they took that statue with them. Yeah, it went when they took the dogs. So when yeah. he pulled the dogs, when the two were going, they were pulling the dogs. The statue went with the dogs. So, right, right. Yeah, it was a cool. it had a had a fun time. Right? Like I said, we had had there during the People Power Revolution. You know, when they threw Marcos out, and now you look back on it, there's a Marcos in power again. Uh, had yeah, 19, yeah. 19, there in 87 had a good friend who was a uh, security policeman that got assassinated by the MPA outside of Clark. So the place brings back a lot of bittersweet memories. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of vets are still interested in what you're doing, you know, with the, the Clark situation, the, the old Clark hospital, that was always wild. <laughs> yeah. So. Seeing a lot of, a lot of them guys that were here and then left during Pinnacle. They're now returning, right, to live here. Like they never I, forgot about it, and they've re they're returning to live here. So I've, I've got a buddy that uh, was stationed there with me. He's actually down to Subic right now. So, but he's yeah. he coming back. He's thinking about moving over. So we'll see what what turns out with that. I mean, I would I would love right. to come back, but then it it's not the same. I mean, the the city has changed drastically, and Clark. You probably wouldn't even like I said, I probably wouldn't even recognize Clark. So you you may and you may not because they renamed every single street in there. 
there's places that I've driven there where you can tell a road goes back into maybe a development where some housing was, but it's so overgrown. Um, I don't know. I, I, I like wandering around on there. Uh, but yep. a lot of people said it's just changed. It, it has changed. Yeah, from where we're um, actually where Canine Cemetery is, right across the street, where it used to be the kennels. And there's an old building right up, uh, just a couple of buildings up. It's the old armory that we used to get our weapons out of. And if right. you go, if you used to go down to, I don't know if it's still in the Greedo uh, village out there, or, or Marcos Village now, but. It yeah, was, yeah, uh, it's still there. Yeah, uh, right there next day, it was the, uh, we had a big flare nine antenna called the elephant cage. That's the big poles that are still there. It looks like it's, uh, used to be, was it a, like a water park or some kind of thing that fell through right there next yeah, to that village? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, some kind of expo. Like, I remember that. I remember seeing stories on that, you know. Right, and, but them big, them big old pillars, you know, with the the points, the antenna like looking things on them. Right, it was a it was a pretty big, uh, big area. That basically, they were listening, you know, around the world. So, <laughs> Uncle, hang on a second, Uncle Jesse, Uncle Jesse wants to know. Please tell me who got arrested for fraud. Mike, Mike, my Philippine, that Mike, your buddy Mike. You know who I'm talking about, Uncle Jesse, the one accused you of. Being with uh, an underage, uh, Mike, yeah, he got arrested. No, I'm just kidding you. Uh, <laughs> Dave, Paul David Cardwell, he was uh, World Zoom. He's the guy that ran the video World Zoom or the channel World Zoom. Uh, you know, they called him out for fraud in the past and all that. He, he got arrested by the B.I., Look up his name, and you can read it. There's many articles about him. But no, unfortunately, it wasn't your buddy, Mike. Uh, anyways, well, innocent until proven guilty. That's it. I, who knows what happens? Who knows what happened? You know, I can, I can only read. We can only read what you're putting out in the news, right? Oh. Time I get on a video, this cat has to get in my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, I'm like it's right outside of St. Louis. It's midnight here, so all right. I'm gonna drop off. Oh, guys, Brian, I uh, think I am gonna get off. It was uh, not, it was nice talking to you. Uh, take care of yourself. Yeah, man. yeah. Hope, hope you enjoyed it of the province, man. All right, thank you. Uh, later. All right, Neil, I'm gonna roll out of here. I'm uh. I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. All right, all right, Philly. All right, Neil. Thanks for uh, stopping in and saying hello. My pleasure. All right. All right, guys. That is a wrap. I am going to uh, kick from studio. Kick the guest. Yes, I am going to wrap this one up. Mitch, uh, anyways. Yeah, Uncle Jesse, go look it up. Here, let me copy. Here, here's the... Uh, there's the link to the article. You want to click on that, follow it, uh, or, or just look up his name, Paul Cardwell. Um, BI immigration arrested him in Cebu. There's many, many articles about him on that. So, all right, guys, with that being said, uh, thanks for stopping in and saying hello. And uh, don't forget to vote. Don't forget to vote. Who should be the next one? Who do I pass the torch to, right? Anyways, Brian, I got my golden permit visa, so I'm good. Mike can't touch this. Can't touch this. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you later.